843, our chance to get the body moving in the form of inspiration on the BT Couch, Live Shot, Century Plaza Hotel and Spa. The president of Innovative Fitness, Curtis Christopherson, back with us with a special guest, Sue Ostvik, Senior VP of Group Health Solutions. And you're smiling for good reason because we have a terrific result. And Curtis, you've championed the idea of the power of exercise and movement. Your story, very interesting. Tell us about where you were and when you knew you wanted to change and have this 40 pound transformation. Yeah, so I actually joined um, IF in 2016, January, but before that, I I had gained a lot of weight, especially since I, after I turned 40 and was exercising less and less and um, was focusing on everything but myself. Um, our CEO, Matt Houghton, had joined IF earlier and uh, kept coming into my office to let me know about how much he was enjoying it and his results and so finally I joined in January and I had two um, commitments to myself. Uh, one was to lose 25 pounds initially and the other was to just get fit and uh, so uh, it took me the, the full year um, but I, after I lost 25 um, I thought do you know what I need to lose another 10 mm. and so I did lose that 10 on December 31st I weighed myself and I was down that 35 and um, maintained the following year and, and then in 18 I had added another fitness session so I was up to three and with that um, I, I've lost Lost another five. Congratulations. So, and we, we, we have the before and after shots. Larry, I tell you what, why don't you roll these in? And Curtis, when you're building a plan and you have someone coming in saying they want to create a dramatic change in their life, how do you start that to create consistent habits? Whew, that's a loaded question. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, most people like Sue actually have ignored their health for the last 15, 20 years. They're raising a family, they're focused on their business. And so, you know, the first step is obviously getting through the door. Having the confidence and willingness to commit to a plan and, and implement all the changes that they need to they need to implement in their lifestyle. And that sets them up for, for the next step, which is following the program and the plan that we're gonna create that's personalized based on their goals, needs, abilities, injuries, and their fitness history. And because we work with people one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's two times a week or three times a week, um, all we expect is that they show up. And the rest is in our hands. Um, obviously, they have to control what they eat and, and the exercise they do on their own. However, you know, showing up three times a week, when they haven't done something for 15 or 20 years, um, that's a great first step. And it was scary. It was scary to, to join it, but to, it's so nice to be in the hands of professionals, people who know what they're doing and watch for the injuries and correct your infractions, as I call them. So it, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous experience for me. How does this turnaround help you show up, one, better as a leader and recognize how important it is to have a priority in a business plan to focus on health and wellness for any culture? Yeah, I think just my energy levels um, are so much higher than they were. Uh, it does, when, when your mind and body is healthy, uh, you can focus better. Um, the leadership team um, all belongs to IF and we work out uh, with the personal trainers and it's filtered down to our staff as well we uh, have a corporate membership and we do some subsidization and so we have boot camps as well but it just it radiates throughout the whole culture and but myself I just I just have more energy I feel healthy I'm happier I just am much happier you're People, glowing right now I know so. I know I love telling this story because it's been an amazing journey for me and I still have more goals I keep setting goals and I think that's important as well. And Curtis, if we could wrap on a point, if you want to impact cultures and get these uh, workplace cultures, not just focused on productivity, but health, what do you say to any business out there that could say, you know, we could benefit from a component like this? Yeah, well, I think the leaders have to start first. You know, they got to walk the talk. They got to lead by example, just like they should be, you know, walking the talk and lead by example in their business. They should be doing that in their overall life. Their health and wellness is one of the, one aspect of that. Uh, from there, it's a matter of, you know, gauging interest, gauging interest and, and really corralling the group of people to finding opportunities and options where people can do it together. It's always comforting to have people that want to do things together. You're going to find that it's going to create cohesion. There's a team builder aspect of it, but people feel comfortable doing things when they have the support around them. So, you know, whether it's a run club, whether it's a boot camp, all those options are great to do and implement within a business. Well, innovativefitness.com is the website, a terrific resource to jumpstart your culture. Sue, congratulations. Keep the glow going. Thank you very much. You look Thank fantastic. You. Uh, we'll take a break. We